It really last last thing about this rig about the formers that I want to show you that I kind of somehow skipped over I didn't really skip over I just didn't get to it uh, where's my project window reset it reset my windows that wouldn't be there yeah, the reset one here we go and so yes I am in version 7 now and it's just the behavior is really good and uh so uh so i wanted to show you where we crashed last time is like uh the deformation regions and how they can be moved about and so so really great performance here and what's nice is also if i command z it, it sticks on the right, the same deformer. Really wonderful. Really wonderful. Okay, so, and there's no redraw problem. So all I wanted to show you is how you can change the deformation, the deformation region. Now you can do all types of things to this, and I'm not gonna get heavy into this, but you can change the position of this, or change it back, or change it, change it back so you have all these for for that and also you can literally just change the size of uh, of them literally change the measurements of the deformation region so if I go here and change this X to 5 you can see that it stretched that deformation region out here and so that's gonna be any object that is linked to it is going to be the range or the region of influence for that uh, deformation. So uh, you can lock it and lock it off. I'm not going to get heavy into that. But uh, I'm just going to change this back to what it was before. Or I could just hit Command Z. And uh, so I wanted to say this about you can use deformation regions for let's say a character that has a shirt with arms and so then you can set the bones inside that and match the bones uh just have the bones influence the inside so there's no big thing and just in case i wasn't clear about that so you can have a shirt with sleeves set the deformation to that object which will happen naturally if it's just a shirt if you just and i'm saying that if you wanted to skip using uh, uh, bones all together and you wanted this kind of deformer. Now this kind of deformer is great but it and it's great for a lot of things and it helps with volume in certain situations where volume would be hard to control. The volume or the thickness of the character throughout the character. Um, uh, the thickness of the character throughout the, the body, the inner space, the volume of it. Uh, so, uh, so you can add a region to it and let's say if it had sleeves, then all you would do is just bone the skin to the sleeve. So I just want, uh, uh, or skin the bone, skin the sleeves to the bones and then that'll be an influence object. So when you, when you move this area, then it'll just be there. The only thing is that these bones are not skin to this object so it has no influence over it and that's what I needed for this particular character okay and the other two characters that I did and so any character that's kind of like that is going to be going to have that kind of general standard uh, setup okay when I click it off and then click it back on it goes back to the first uh, deformer which is was twist which is great good thinking great job on that EI still loving this um so the last thing I wanted to show you about that before I totally get finished it with this for real for real is this moving this region here. So you can move the region around and then that and that's just this arrow centroid for that region. Okay and so then when you bend it it's going to bend around that region. It's going to have a totally different effect there. But yeah you can make a horse screw like that. Yeah, really nice, very interesting, just playing around with EI, and so it works good for some and not so great for others, 
And of course you can set up different regions. And so now this is uh, handles itself, you know, pretty much the same as before. And if I go back to this region where this is deformed, it's going to handle itself quite differently. Okay. So that's all I wanted to show you. And, and here it's imploding on itself here. So that's not really the best one for that, but you can use a different region for that type of bend. Now when you, <laughs> and who knows what you get, right? <laughs> Woo! So, uh, <laughs> so, um, so those are the different things to be concerned with. Now, uh, with XP also, this is a, it's good to have different regions and name them differently and everything. Because a bin to XP is the same thing as a bin. So unless it's named differently, has a unique name, it won't, no. Okay, now for rigging for real, for real. Okay. <laughs>